Hey hello guys, this is Claire here again with Guilty Skies Gaming and we're back to Banjo-Kazooie. And I picked it up right back in Clanker's Cavern and I don't care about bottles about your frigging thing to do with stuff. Eh, go away crabs, I don't want you. Okay, so in this episode my goal is... I want to get all the notes and clear Kank Clank, 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 clank. I want to grab all the notes and get all the jiggies in Clanker's Cavern. There, I said it! You happy now? Ma'am! <laughs> Thankfully, I don't need to get you assholes again. Okay, now we're in the main thoroughfare of Clanker's Cabin. Huzzah! Okay. Boop -a doop, boop -a doop. I think. I think that pipe down there has a lot of notes in it, so I'm going to go check. I'm probably wrong. Nope, I am right. Huzzah! I'm right! Uh. I'm really hoping platformers make a comeback. Cause like, these games are so much fun. Wouldn't you guys agree? Comment below if you think platformers are great. I mean, it's literally one of the games that raised me. So... I can't- I'm kind of biased. God, collecting all these things is always a son of a bitch. There we go. I should be passing... I think my record is 60 for this level? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that's right. Jump, not swipe. Eh. Eh. Um. Jeez, what to talk about today? I don't even know, guys. Um. I can. I'm completely blanking. I severely apologize. I have no idea what to talk about. Um... Okay, so, here's a topic. Uh, nuts and bolts. Yeah, brought that up. I'm sure no one wants to hear about that, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. I liked it, but only as nuts and bolts, not as Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts. Um, there's another game I play called, uh, Robocraft, and it's, it's kind of like a little... Um, it's a, it's a block buildy, attach guns, and go shoot people type game, much like Nuts and Bolts. And it's fun if you like building things, which I do. I love Minecraft, I love Robocraft, Nuts and Bolts. Um, so it's, it's one of those, like, <coughs> you have to just be into that kind of thing. So, I think... I'm a little worried for Clanker. He needs some clear eyes, man. Now, what was I gonna say? I think... I think Nuts and Bolts is alright as a game, but not as a Banjo-Kazooie title. Like, if they would've slapped any other character, I would've been completely fine with it, actually. Just Banjo-Kazooie, I don't think they deserve that kind of treatment. 
simply because of like how good their game is and then how much shit nuts and bolts got. I don't know. That's just my opinion on the whole thing. I think it's a little whack. Um, nuts and bolts needed to be its own thing, not a banjo title. And that's that. So, on to happier topics. Um, oh, I might actually have like a legitimate job soon, other than my YouTube career, which I hope takes off soon. Um, but no, I might actually be working at a GameStop, so that should be pretty fun. I did work at one a long time ago back in in South Carolina when I lived there, because right now I live in North Carolina in Charlotte. But um, that was a fun job. I enjoyed all my all my coworkers and everything. Um, into the blowhole. I wonder if that hurts. You know, I I'm still really worried for Clanker, cause he's still a physical being. That's creepy. Um. No, like, I'm legit worried about Clanker, because he is indeed a living being still. Dodge roll. Um, but yeah, no, he's got all these blades and shit inside him, and like, all this mechanical shit. So it's like, is he human? Is he not? Fuck it. And it, it's so weird to determine whether or not he's a living creature. Um, you know, I could have sworn there was another uh, ring challenge in this area, but I guess not. Um, God, the rain, the notes in this area are so jank to get because they're frigging everywhere. There we go. There's my new best, sixty-five. Uh, the noises. That's right, you can't jump on that one because it's angled outward slightly, ever so slightly. Whoosh. Alright, um, I'm off to get my next move, which I think is the final base move in the game. And it involves these gold feathers I've been collecting. So I think you guys are in for a treat, if, you, if none of you have seen this before. Yeah, you see all these spinning blades of doom? I can't get through that. Unless... I have this. So. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, check this shit out. And I should have only one more to get. And I know exactly where it is. Yeah, fuck you, Blades. You ain't got shit. Alright. Hmm. 
Hmm. I have to go fight some, uh... Some crabs. I have to get rid of the crabs, man. Um... I'm terribly sorry if that offended anyone who actually has, like, an STD or something. I meant no offense. Ugh. Well, shit. Guess what I forgot. Oh well, ten minutes. I keep forgetting my timer. And I deeply apologize. You guys will like this room. It's kind of like a dance club. <laughs> That's how I always thought of it as a kid. It's like this cool little dance club and only these, uh... Only these crabs are invited. Snippet mutants, yeah. Yeah! Suck it! That move is so cheap. I love using it, though. You better give me that fucking prize. I didn't come all this way with an invincibility move to kill all of you in one hit for nothing. If you don't have that move, the fight's actually pretty hard, because they're faster and stronger than the regular crabs. This kind of reminds me, because I mentioned that it seems like a dance room, it reminds me a lot of the, um, the dance club from Conker's Bad Fur Day. Which I've been replaying with my fiance. I've never played through it fully, and we have a um, an emulation of it. So I've been replaying it, or I've been playing it, and he's been replaying it. And it is so much fun. I love that game. I guess I'm gonna go back down into the depths because I think there were notes down here. There were. Yeah, gloop. No. God, it's so bad down here. Oh man. Ugh. I think it's just the, the horror tones they play while you're down there. Ugh. It always gives me the shivers. Okay. So now we're back up. Um, was there any... Were there any in here? No. I would have seen them by now. They always leave a trail of them, or like they group them together or something. And then there's, um, Banjo-Tooie, which does a completely different approach, and instead they, um... They do clusters, or not a cluster, it's like a, um, a single note that's worth multiple other notes. I will be playing that eventually, I'm just gearing up for, um, Ukulele to come out. Which I think was delayed until 2017. Which sucks, because I really, really wanted Ukulele. But I guess I'll have to wait a little bit longer. Um... Yeah, I'm definitely excited for that, though. I've said that in, like, every video so far, and I apologize if that's a little overbearing. Just the hype is real. I missed most of those eggs. Dishonor on me, dishonor on my cow.
Um, if anyone's ever played DK64, it's a very... It's the exact same company that made it, Rareware. And, um... It's definitely different than this game. Whereas Banjo-Kazooie is more, uh... A bit more realistic, I guess, because they have the air and everything. DK64 is just, like, completely batshit insane. Alright, now, how many am I missing? 87. Oh, it says it right there. Whoops. Okay. And I think if I go this way, there's something else. Oh, well, here's some of the notes. And I think after I grab these, I should only have, like, five more remaining? Yeah. Five exactly, actually. So where are those five notes? You do need basically every note in the game, I think, to get past the final door. I know I'm probably going a little overboard with it, but eh. It's not like I have anything else to do. <laughs> Alright, Clanker. Where are you hiding them, buddy? Give me a note. That's still creepy. They wouldn't be up there. Oh, they would be over there. And I think the level after this is Bubble Gloop Swamp. I goddamn hate Bubble Gloop Swamp. Like, it's so jank. I missed absolutely every one of those. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Bye, Clanker Boo. Don't worry, we'll come back for you. Eventually, maybe, kinda. Bye. <laughs> also, what am I swimming in? Is it gasoline? Or is it sewage? Because this is flammable. Oh, it's flammable because it's methane. Yep, that's poop. I was swimming in poop water. The whole time. Alright, let's get that witch switch then. Yeah, it is bottles. I don't know why you're that amazed. I'm good. Okay, there's nothing up there that I particularly need. No, wait, there might be something on the, uh... Son of a bitch! There we go. Shut up, Rintilda. I'll get to you when I need you. That's right, I think this is how you open Bubble Group Swamp. Okay. So, yeah, this is Bubble Loop Swamp. Or, this is the unlock room for Bubble Loop Swamp. 
Which I always thought was a really cool mechanic. To have each room unlock another part of the castle. Or a room in the castle unlock another part. It, it gives you like a sense of adventure. I know it seems like it's a lot of back and forth though. So I guess it could be argued that way. I enjoy it. Bubble Loop Swamp. I hate this place. Okay. Uh, let's get that witch switch, and that'll be it for this episode, guys. I ain't taking my chances with that asshole. Sometimes underwater travel is just the way to go, you know? Which reminds me, underwater, I do plan on doing uh, maybe a one or two off for a Let's Play of Subnautica. Um, I've been playing a lot with the recent updates, and I'm really enjoying it, so I think you guys uh, might too. I'm sure everyone's played by now, though. Oops, I missed. There we go. Smack grunty in her eyeballs. Alrighty. So, that is all the time I have for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. This has been Claire with... Er I skipped everything. Thank you so much for tuning in to Guilty Skies Gaming. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button for more great content just like this. And as always, this is Claire with Guilty Skies Gaming, signing off. Bye!